hello guys so in this video we are going to discuss about grid view so we will be working with two different type of grid views the first one would be the static grid view that will have fixed number of items and we need to define it yourself and the second one would be the dynamic grid view where each item is coming from some variable so let's go ahead and start with the static grid view so let's quickly create a grid view dot we have this count so here uh, this is a required argument that you need to pass the cross x count that means how many columns are required in single row so let's go ahead with one first and then we will move to another one and another we have some property that is children so here we need to define your children of grid view so for the simplicity i will just add a container here and we can define some color colors let's say dot amber and we are facing some error so this is because of this const let's remove const and save it and you can see you got one let's quickly copy this and create four or five items let's give it green red purple and let's give it brown and we are missing comma here just add comma comma and save and you can see you are able to see one item so if you want to have a grid view where two columns are there then you can do define this cross access line count to the two so you can increase or decrease it from here let's say if you want three items so one single row is having how many entries that depends on this cross access count okay now what we can do in order to do it better we can cut it and create a get widget function so this gonna give us a widget back let's go here and create a method so this method gonna give us return us that container and you can mention the return type as widget and now instead of using these we can do what we can make make it little dynamic so we are getting this colors here so let's create some arguments here so i just create it a simple one first so that you can understand so i just use a color and color and the second is I, I will take one let's say icon data data that's icon so i just quickly add a child here which would be an icon and in this we can pass this icon so let's give it size let 80 save it and we just come here here we need to pass that arguments so here if you are using normal arguments you need to remember the sequence like we can use colors dot amber and the second argument would be icons dot let's say uh, chair so save it you can see it is working now if you have n number of arguments you need to remember this sequence let me just change this position so these are positional arguments if you use like this then you would face a problem so you need to remember the sequence over here so in order to avoid that what i do is i just convert this arguments to named arguments by wrapping it into this curly base and you can mention here it is required required so required means it must be passed so here whenever you use this you can see color so color start amber and then you can see icon so that means icon start let's say chair save it okay now what we need to do we don't need all these things we can these replace these things with widgets and we just quickly change the color to 
ग्रीन रेड पर्पल ब्राउन एंड वी कैन चेंज दिस आइकन टू लेट से मैन कार and let's take it setting let's give it wi-fi and we can remove all these things okay now whenever you want to modify you can modify this widget and you will be able to see this okay now the problem here is we have already defined this static color here instead of using the static color we will do what we will just use this color which is coming as an argument let's save it and you can see you are getting all the stuff so this is simple now this is again a scrollable we have already seen and we have few more properties of this grid view like if you want some spacing between these items we have this main x spacing let's give it five which will give some space between each row same way if you need spacing between each item in a single row then you can use that cross axis spacing let's keep it five and you can see that spacing simple now so let me change the cross axis count to two and save it now this is basically scrollable to top to bottom so if you want you can also use that shrink wrap property as we have used in this view group and save it and you can see now it is consuming only this much space now another property is there that is scroll direction so again it is taking access as we have done with the list view same way we can do it over here just save it and you can see it is scrollable horizontally left to right right to left okay so let's comment this and keep it default and save it that was a simple example of using static list view so we are now going to convert this into dynamic list view so in order to do that we need the data for the data we are going to create here the variables so for the simplicity i have already created data and we are going to use it over here so let's remove this const here and const here save it and save it so here we just have created a list of icons so that we can use it so just change this count to the builder and once you convert it in the builder you can see these properties are no more usable so let's comment these as well okay now once you use this builder you can see we have two required properties that is grid delegate and item builder so let's quickly create a item builder first so which require a function that is again taking context and index so here you need to mention the widget that you want to display as an item of this grid view so we already have this get widget which is created so let's this time keep the color same for all the entries let's give it uh, let's say blue blue and the icon you can get it from this icons which we have already created and just pass this index so once you have done this now we left with the second required property that is grid delegate so for grid delegate we have silver grid delegate with fixed cross axis count so here you need to mention the cross axis count which is a required property so i just keep it to one in order to show you const save it now once we have done you can see you are able to see one item in a single row so we got an error here because we have missed something else as well 
So we have missed one more property that is required here that is item count like we have used the same in list view so let's give it a icon start link save it and just restart it so this time we will not be facing any of the error so you can scroll it and no problem okay now i just quickly change some settings like i don't need one item i just use two items here and we need some spacing here so earlier we were using the spacing directly inside that grid view so this time we need to use that properties over here so let's use main access spacing let's keep it five save it and see we got a space between this main axis and same way we need cross axis spacing with y you can add a comma in order to show it better so now you got these list of item so if you want to make it inside some specific size then you can wrap your grid view inside a container and you can add some height here let's give it 400 and you can define the color as well if you want so color start yellow and save it and you can see you got your items here and if you want you can add padding as well so you can either add padding to the container or to the grid view builder so we have padding here as well and we have padding here as well so I just define padding here if you want. Let's create const edge inset dot all and five is enough, I think. Okay. So that's all for this video. If you have any doubt, do comment in the comment section. Thank you.